great people looking to become students in the United States. What are we talking about? Listen today, Immigration Wednesdays, to find out. Hi, I'm attorney Jeff Peek with the Peek and Tolan Law Firm, and USCIS announced here recently some great news that's going to help anybody who's visiting the United States and decides they want to change status to become a student on a student visa. A lot of people, people times people would come to the United States on visitor visas, tourist visas, also known as the B1, B2 visa, and while here would make the decision that they would like to enroll into a college or a university, and they would apply. However, it was a tricky situation because a lot of times they're only given 180 days on their tourist visa, and sometimes schools don't start till much after the time, that time period ends. And the way immigration law was working, if there was a gap in your status, you had to file multiple changes of status. You'd have to file a change of status from the tourist visa to the F1. You might also have to later on find an extension of your B1, B2 visa. Well, this week, USCIS made an announcement. They're no longer going to require that extra filing of an extension. So what does that mean? That means if you file a change of status while you're still active on your 180 days permission under your B1, B2 visa, that when that is approved, when the F1 visa is approved, they'll actually give you status from that point moving forward. So that way you don't have a gap in status. As long as you don't work or otherwise violate the conditions of the F1 visa before school starts, you can stay here in that period up until school starts. So that should be helpful to a lot of you who've called our office before asking questions. We've actually helped many, many people on tourist visas to, to help gap and cover this uh, previous known gap of presence uh, that sometimes can make people inadmissible. But thanks to this new announcement, now if you are on a B1, B2 tourist visa, and change status timely. Remember, timely is filing that before your time period on the B-12 B-12 runs out. And we're talking about the I-94 uh, permission. Then you should be okay in order to start your schooling, even if uh, your tourist visa ran out before then. So that's great news for everybody who is looking to do that. If you have questions or need help, or if you are in any kind of visa process you don't understand, looking for advice we'd love to advise you on that and if you have a pathway to residency or a pathway to work visa give us a call we'd love to help you out we'll talk to you next wednesday